Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I'm starting another Naruto reaction video and today I'm starting with episode 79. In the last episode, we saw how Gamabunto and Naruto have combined together to transform into the Ninetale Fox. They want to kill the mean sand spirit Shukaku residing inside Gara. There's a big battle ahead. But before I start the episode, I want to say please show me some love. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you really like my videos, please press the like button. And do press that bell icon so that you know when my next video is out. And if you have any comments for me, do leave them down there. So, let's start. Okay, here we go. The Nine Tail Fox is coming. It can't be. He's beating the Nine Tail Fox. Boy, they're not messing around. Not at all. It's not safe here anymore. Yeah, run. Everyone, run away. This isn't gonna work. His power just keeps increasing. So what do we do? Oh yeah, they need to wake uh, Gara up, right? We go. Okay. So they're trying to wake Gara up. Finally. Okay, Naruto, that's your chance. Go. Give him a good smack. Okay, kids, you're on. Yes. Oh, that's a good punch. Good punch, my boy. Good punch. It will make him for next life too. I agree with you, Gamma Bunta. That one blow was amazing. <laughs> That's the Chicago spirit is talking. <laughs> He's just enjoying the planet Earth a lot, I guess. Okay, Gar is awake. Cool. Come on. Oh my god. Sand coffin attack was coming for Naruto. Thank goodness for Gamabunta to cover him from, with his tongue. But then the sand is coming from underneath. So what's Naruto gonna do if they have already used up all the chakra? Oh my god. Shut up, Kara. Kai Sensei, finally. You guys are still keeping the tally who's winning now. Man, how many sand and sound ninjas are here? It's unheard of for two shinobi to last this long. What the hell is going on in they there? They both are super powerful. One is Hokagi, the other one's Rachimaru. One hell of a battle going between these two. And also they are teacher and student, so there was this bond between he them. And now it feels sad it has come to so. this level. I won't let this oh man, reach. he's trying to kill Hokage. You are going to die here. Indeed he is, are, but then Hokage. you should You're die to Ura tomorrow. Oh my god, the kind of hatred he has for third Hokage is epitome. Just imagine, this guy used to be thir third Hokage's student and I can see that Lord Hokage still have a kind of, you know, some emotion or some uh, connection with this guy but then Orochimaru is just full of hatred for him so Orochimaru has no feelings whatsoever left for Hokage uh, even though they had they shared a teacher and student bond years back all he cares about his selfish motive his interest of getting sasuke and becoming more powerful and live and have an eternal life that's the only thing he cares about he has no remorse and he wants to kill Hokage. He has become the stone-hearted person who has no whatsoever regard for the teacher who got him to this level. I'm so sorry to see this. Have you even the slightest idea what's befalling your precious little village? So many of Leaf Village ninjas has been killed by Orochimaru's stooges. People are annihilated down to every last woman and child. The no, that day will not come, Orochimaru. Will to exist. <laughs> no, not today. Man, seriously, too many ninjas are killed. War only brings destruction. We've been here for a while now. How can we haven't seen a single woman or child yet? Because they all been taken to the secret tunnels that you guys have no idea about. 
We're in the middle of a crisis here. Do you have any idea what's at stake if they find us? Now get back in that room and you'll keep quiet. Yeah, I know, but you don't understand. Uh, I've really got to go. You'll just have to hold it. I'm going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who did he hit? Are oh, the ninja sandwich ninjas here? Did he beat his pants? Okay, so Dai and Kakashi are doing well. They're killing all sand and sound village ninjas. That's great. Oh, all of them all of them are here. So the party is here. Okay. Finally all the ninjas all in the arena are done. Anyway. Who is she? Hi day. I will avenge your death. Oh. I promise. Is she the Anvu Black Op? Yes, she is the Anvu That's Black Op lady. Let's go. Whoa. Right. When Hayate was killed, that Proctor guy, uh, by the Sand Village uh, Sansei, I think she is the same lady who For all your claims, uh, found don't his get it. Do body. Your Orochimaru. Do not underestimate the shinobi of this village. Absolutely. You haven't seen what Kakashi, Guy, and all the other ninjas can do. Orochimaru is underestimating them. Um, oh, yeah. there's so more ladies the and females yeah. and women this of the village. The last of them. Then there are very specific guidelines we have to follow. The very first oh my god, every time they have the to give this explanation forces, and they'll find and some weird scene to give explanation happen. of what's happening. We immediately step things up to phase two. Okay, so I guess the phase 3 is already happening. Oh, cool. Some of the Sound Village ninjas are getting Not killed. I'm step. happy about it. You are done here. Yes, lady, that's the way to do it. Okay, finally. So, Naruto has no chakra left and he still needs to beat Gara down. And Sakura is still trapped. Sakura, I swear I'll protect you. Good Naruto, now do something about Gara. And it's the San Mean Spirit Shukaku. Believe me, I will kill you. I will not no, you will not. Exist. I'm running out of time. Why why does he keep repeating the same stuff? It's too late. Yeah. Oh, it's the chakra of the nine tail fox, I guess. Give me some chakra! Oh, that Hinata's dad! Wow, Hinata's dad is amazing, man. He killed all those people. What are you all waiting for? It's just one man! And this one man will kill you all. It's the same thing which uh, Neji did when he was uh, doing that battle the leaf with Naruto. Spirit is strong. You do well yes. to remember. Yes. I can't move. Come on, That's uh, Shikamaru's You've dad. Never heard of the shadow paralysis jutsu? The leaf village's shadow strangled jutsu. Oh, I don't think Shikamaru can do that. It's the jutsu. <gasps> dad. Wow, man. Look at him! <gasps> That's Eno's dad. What are you doing? Amazing. Stop it! Stop! So this is called this. These are what you call a father. You know, amazing father, exemplary father. And what Kara's dad is? Just don't let me speak about him. Yeah, I know she could chill. <laughs> Let's go, Kuramaru. Right. Never mind Kuramaru. the odds our know leaf shinobi are up against. Some of strength. Oh yeah, Shino, what happened to you? Are you okay? Body is. Try not to move. <gasps> I've injected my Shino's dad parasites. is here. They're neutralizing the poison. Oh, cool Damn. man. That's a it good dad. One of my That's first what lessons. you need as a dad. It's not until you protected someone precious to you that the true strength of the shinobi can emerge. Absolutely, Hokage. 
That's what Naruto has been telling since whenever. No, that's what Haku even said, right? Your purpose of life is to protect someone precious. Come on, yes. <gasps> that's a great headbutt, man. <gasps> Kara is bleeding. Shikaku is done. Okay, where is Kara and Naruto going? A plain old headbutt, huh? Wish I could stick around to see how this ends. But I've reached my limit too. Let's do it. So Kamaki and Kamabunto are going back to the place where they live, which I have no idea where it is. But Naruto and Gara have landed on top of the forest. Okay, and they still have some energy left to do some more fight. That's amazing. Oh wow, look at that scene, man. The makers of this show are amazing. Like half and half. I'm gonna use that in my thumbnail for sure. That's it. I can't go any further. I've used up all my chakra. I'm oh, really? the look of you. So have you. You and oh, I it's are gonna be now like plain and simple you know. fight. We shouldn't be doing this. Your ambitions end here and now. This isn't over. There isn't any stopping my ambition. You so if um, so Hokage is saying that he does not have the strength enough to take away the whole soul out of its uh, out of his shell, um, take Orochimaru's whole soul out of it uh, out of his shell. So. That means Arachimaru is not gonna die, right? And Hokage is gonna die. Which is very sad and pathetic because that's the only thing I was scared of since the beginning of this battle. Whenever they came across this um, Reaper Death Seal thing. And I'm like, it's the only thing I was praying since that time that Hokage, if he dies, so should Orochimaru. But it seems like, of course, Orochimaru has some more metal to do in future episodes so i'm sure the makeup of the show will let him survive and poor old hokage is gonna die and i don't i just don't know if i really want to watch further to see him die and this happening in real but i have to oh that's so sad okay okay oh is this an obsession this need to drown yourself in jutsu and for this transgression you shall be punished i shall take away all the jutsu you hold so dear what did you say okay so he's taking away all his jutsu but he can't kill him impossible you wouldn't dare okay so the reaper cut off all the jutsu so all the jutsus from Orochimaru are sealed inside Hokage now. My, my arms. There you have it. Your arms are useless to you now. And without those arms, you will never form another hand sign. Oh. Ninjutsu is forever out of your reach. Oh, so he took his spirits from his hand. Your the power from his hand. Your dream of crossing this village dies here. Farewell, disciple. May we meet again in the oh, next world. In the last moment, he's calling him disciple. You old man! How dare you! How dare you take my Jutsu so from right. me! Oh my god, Hokage is dying. Oh, in the last moment he's seeing him, the the real, the child Orochimaru was, the student he had. In the last moment, Hokage just saw him like that. That's the love of a teacher for a student. Well, oh, I'm sad Hokage is dying. One shall find flames. <laughs> The fire's shadow will illuminate the village. Fire shadow will illuminate the village. <laughs> and once again, tree leaves shall bud anew. Okay. So 
I'm not very sure. I'm sure there is a deep meaning into what Hokage's last words are, but I I didn't get it. Oh, Hokage is dying. Hokage is fallen down. to see the next episode now but it's so sad Hokage is dead the monkey Sarutobi. is coming take the sword off let me remove the blade yeah remove the blade take me back right right yeah, they were holding up this barrier now he's gonna make a oh, run very go Capture him! Someone please go capture him! Watch out, oh. A chakra web! And we flew right into it! And you call yourself Anbu Black Hawk, you just flew into that chakra web. Out. We should go after him. Wait, he guy. escaped. I'm not so sure. You That's Kabuto. That we do nothing. Yeah. Hey, Kabuto. Kakashi. Kakashi got it. Well, aren't you the clever one? Oh well. So he's gone too. Kabuto escaped. So did Orochimaru. So where is Tamari going? Oh, Kankuro. she came for Kankuro. Sakura is... Okay, so Sakura is fine. Sasuke just got hold of her. Whew. Okay, so they both are on the ground. Oh, what could it be? Now they're still trying that to crawl up so to him. Strong. I will not disappear. I will not cease and to again, exist. And the same thing. I won't. Naruto, it's your time for Naruto talks and no jutsu thing. What are you doing? I told you not to talk. Okay, to so him. one thing um, I've noticed recently is this swing. I think the swing indicates the loneliness so when they showed um, Gara, Gara's childhood. He was on the swing all alone while other kids were playing. So he was lonely and then for Naruto they also show him over a swing and now they just showed a empty swing. So it feels like um, it's just their lonely self. That on a swing you do not need a companion, you can just swing by your by on your own. So that represents your loneliness. Whereas the other people are in herd and groups together against you. So world against you. That's what happened to Haku, Sasuke, uh, Gara, and him, of course, Naruto. So consistently they just showed all these kids with their empty and lonely childhood. Let's get out of here. Naruto crying. Watch out. It's, it's him again. Yeah, everyone is scared of his. Why don't you just go away? Uh, the nine tail fox go away, you... spirit inside you freak. him. Freak, freak, freak. Uh, the same words, freak, freak. Gara was a freak in his village. Naruto is a freak in his village. Yeah, see, they both crying. Because people Freak, kept rejecting them. He's a monster. Of course, Don't even look the at hatred him. make make them the monster. I but then Naruto didn't become me. a monster. Go away. This is a symbolism for loneliness. Still trying to crawl up to him. feel like you know going in there and giving all these kids a it's big tight hug unbearable isn't it the feeling of being all alone yeah i understand that <laughs> but now there are others other people who mean a lot to me i care more about them than i do myself and i won't let anyone hurt them why would you do this for anyone but still yourself? doesn't understand because they saved me from myself. Love. Is that the thing that makes him so strong? Yeah. Naruto, that's enough. Look, Sakura's gonna be alright. 
You gonna let him go? That's enough. It's over. But Gara. <sighs> so Gara even said it's enough. He doesn't want to fight them anymore. I never thought I'd see this. You have siblings. <clears throat> love them. And hopefully they love you back. <clears throat> Gara, I hope you be a better man. Naruto is such a kind hearted boy. Perhaps even I someday. Oh, someone just told me that um, this symbol on someone Gara's head it means Kankuro. love. Hmm? Oh, I'm did sorry. he say sorry to Hankuro? Maybe he learned his lesson from this small Naruto talks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hokage is dead. Oh, they all dressed up for, I think, uh, the funeral. Oh, all of them are here. To pay their respect. Why did someone so good have to die? Yeah, man. Why? Oh, that's Kuna Hamaru. Okay, Hiroka-san says they are to take care of him. Inside every ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village burns the will of fire. The will of fire? It's what gives us the strength to defend our village. It's the unbreakable bond that ties us all together. It's what makes us a family. <laughs> God. Why did he, he has to die? That Orochimaru still get to live. Okay, Kakashi is again at the memorial side. Are those for Hayate? And you, Kakashi? Paying respects to Obito? Obito? Instead of constantly inventing new excuses for being late, why don't you simply come here earlier? I did. I've been here since dawn. So Kakashi is usually late because he's here paying this respect to someone called makes Obito. Makes me think of the mistakes I've made in the past, and I've made so many of them. Oh, there is a big backstory of Kakashi as well. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is Jiraiya doing here? Oh, that's third Okage. So, Master Jiraiya was Third Hokage's student. So, why didn't he come to the funeral? It's a shinobi rule. Never show your feelings. Keep your mind focused on your mission. No matter what, no matter how much you're hurting yourself. I can inside, never be a shinobi then. <laughs> He was really a nice person. He was there for everyone. <laughs> the sexy jutsu. <laughs> Why do they do it? Why do people risk their lives for other people? We remain in the circle together. We have no choice. It's important to us. But he still didn't answer. So we do it because we have to. I get it. Oh, we do it so because we have to? Think how sad it would be if he died for nothing. But he left us something priceless. Hmm. Don't worry. You'll understand one of these days. Okay, I think what he hey, meant was... Give me some credit. Everyone dies. And if you die without leaving any memory, any circle of uh, friends, relatives, lovers, loved ones... Then the then your life was meaningless. Then you created no bonds. You created no impact. Uh, at least Hokage created an impact on the whole village. Everyone's life was touched by him at a certain point of time. So his life had so much of meaning. He left behind all this loved ones, family, relatives, friends, lovers who will remember him, who will have fond memories of him, and that is why everyone do it or what he did is why because he wanted to protect this village his people and that's why his life is of value and that is why he did it what he did and that is why any shinobi would do what 
he's supposed to do. The rain, it stopped. Hmm. Does it have a meaning too? I think it indicates that the the sun is shining again on the hidden leaf village. Bye, Ruka Sensei. See you later. All right. It's a new day. Do you see it, Lord Hokage? The sparks you left behind have kindled the flame among oh. the young leaves of the next generation. Now I get it. What it does it mean, brightly, my bell of fire? And it will shine its light upon our Because village. of Lord Hokage's sacrifice, all these young buds, these kids, they have seen this huge door and have seen their leader dying and sacrificing. They're more, uh, their spirit is more in saving this village and uh, becoming a part of this shinobi way. Well, it survived, but barely. The damage is extensive. Not Who are these two ago. people? Don't tell me you still have feelings for your oh, old Oh, they're talking home. about the Hidden Leaf Village. No. Old no. home? <gasps> yes, the same eyes as uh, Sasuke. Okay, so this episode ended. But I have certain questions. So, question number one. They kept mentioning Hayate. So... What is the, um, so even when he was Proctor, you know, the way he, he went to Hokage and asked, um, him to make him the Proctor of the, uh, Chunin, uh, exams. So, and then he was, he kept coughing and he looked really sick. So even then I was wondering, like, what is the backstory of this guy, Haite? And then he dies. Like he was spying over the uh, spying over the sand village, uh, Sansei and Kabuto, and then he was killed by him, and that ended. But then this female uh, black, uh, sorry, this female onu black of uh, ninja, she comes and she says, um, she wants to avenge Hayate's death. So there is more to Hayate character, but then he is already dead. I don't know if they're gonna show that in future. So, what's the significance of him in the whole thing? Secondly, uh, what happened to Orochimaru? So, Orochimaru has lost all his jutsu and his tutors just took him away. So, where did he go? What happened to him? Is he gonna be caught? So, that's the second thing. And um, the other thing was Kakashi paying respect to someone and that is why he is always late so obito what's the name of obito or something like that so who is that person what is the significance again to that scene again i'm sure they're gonna reveal in the future and master jiraiya was here so he didn't attend the funeral but he was still there so okay that's a question mark and then the last scene these two guys, who are they? And they're looking at Hidden Leaf Village and talking about the uh, damage to the village. And the older guy, the, the taller guy actually talks to the other guy saying, do you still have some feelings about your old home? So the other guy must have lived in this village some point of time. And ha he has the same eye as Sasuke. So my brain, if I put together all the deductions and assumptions together, I feel he is uh, Itachi. He is uh, Sasuke's elder brother and I think he has returned back to the village, which makes me feel really, really worried. I am highly worried. This village just has suffered a huge um this village has just suffered a huge damage because of the war all most of the ninjas are dead i know there are good ninjas left but then many ninjas died hokage is dead and there is a lot of damage to the whole boundary in the village buildings itself so within that if um Itachi is here and I don't know what he's gonna do but 
if he's here is he here to get Sasuke is he here to kill Sasuke or anyone else in the village that's a big question mark too but I'm really worried so I think there is a lot of um, action going to happen in coming episodes when we get to know more about Sasuke and Itachi and whole Uchiha clan that they keep talking about in the meanwhile, this video has become really long, so I would have to wrap this video here. But one thing I want to let you guys know is that now my brother is acting as my moderator. He reads all those comments and then he tells me uh, the comments that I need to know. Nothing against you guys, but then <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my suspense and not to know things before I see them. However, please do leave your comments. I love your comments, all the appreciation that I get and all the feedback that I get from you guys, everything that you um, tell me about my videos. I do take that very seriously and I do work on them. So thank you so much for your love and support. Please subscribe to my channel. And for now, lots of love. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.